Welcome to the new lesson. This one is called Pick Your Power Metal. And in this one, we are going to talk about using your guitar pick in order to get different atmospheres out of your riffs. All right, check it out. Okay, this is another one of my riffs that alternates the bar of 4-4 and 5-4. And here's the first part. Okay, you will notice that all notes are downpicked, and this is all single notes, no, no power chords. Okay, so you'll notice again that I'm varying my pick articulation. For the bottom bass notes, the root notes on, on F sharp, I'm using more of a muted pick attack. And when I play the single notes, the melody notes, I open it up so the, the, the lick has a, a room to breathe and you got some nice contour out of it. This also maintains the, the tightness of the riff. The next part of the riff is a very similar to the beginning, but I changed this F sharp into G. So the, so the riff has a chromatic, melodic ascending line, all right? So the next part is this. Very similar. I'm muting the low string, and I am opening up the notes on the on the melody, melody line, which is on the, on the A string. The next part is very similar to the first two, except my root note is right here on the G sharp. Okay, so not only you have melody on the fifth string, you also have a melody ascending on the, on the bottom E string. And the riff ends like this. And I put some vibrato on the fifth string to, to make the riff uh, come alive and make it sing a little bit. Okay, so the last part of the riff, which is the B flat to the E, is a tritone interval. You know, a standard and heavy metal right now gives a dark feel, um, and it's, a, it's just a really cool way of fin finishing up the riff. Okay, so for this next example, I am going to play same exact notes with my left hand, but I'm going to give a different pick articulation, different treatment with my right hand. And I want you guys to hear how the same quote unquote notes sound when you use a different right hand pick um, attack, a different way of picking it. Check this out. <laughs> Okay, so before I show you this riff, keep in mind that the notes on the left hand are the same exact notes as the riff number one, all right? It's what's changing for this riff is the right hand picking pattern. And it's very interesting. First, I play all the notes in this riff a little more muted. 
okay? My right hand sort of lays over the, the bottom part of the guitar strings, and I play along with my left hand fingerings, okay? Now keep in mind that the, the each motif starts with two down strokes, and then it's two up strokes. Check this out, I'm going to play it really slow. Here's the first part. So I'm ending this riff with down, up, down, up. So it's very interesting how this picking pattern works. All right, so on this new camera angle, I want you to pay attention to my right hand and see exactly how I am treating this riff with my pick, all right? So check this out, this is the first one. Um, mid-tempo. See, so instead of all down picking, as in the first example, there's quite a lot more going on, but this gives you a little bit of a different uh, sound altogether for the riff. Okay, so here we go again. Next part, same exact picking pattern. Third part of the riff. And the tail end. Okay, so here's the tail end of the riff, and as you'll notice, all the notes are alternate picked.